So the idea of the Avi Maison in Winnipeg is the passion I have for Yoruba culture and our heritage. Since I migrated to Canada, I realized that we are missing a lot apart from our culture. We are missing a lot in terms of entertainment. We are missing a lot in terms of cultural heritage and preservation of culture. For that reason, I have it in mind one day, I'm going to have a place where people can come. If they come here, they are going to see a lot of things that symbolize our women, that show some respect to the women, and also they are going to see how we preserve our work and how we have been living our life before the civilization, or let me say before the European system of government. They are going to see about the Kuriji War, we talk about the Kuriji War that happened back in the 18th centuries. They are going to see things that talk about the origin of Yoruba, especially the forefather of Yoruba, which is Odudua. When they got here, they are going to see what we call Shongo, which is one of the deities and also a king. He was a king in Yoruba land with a lot of historical behind it. Asha is a culture. ASA in Yoruba word is Asha and in English is called culture. So when we say Asha Day, it's made as Asha Day, that is cultural day. Coming down to cultural artifacts aspect of it, where we can be able to teach people about our culture and also to showcase and preserve our heritage. It's going to be a lesson for other people to keep to their heritage, regardless of their background. It doesn't have to be Yoruba culture. It can be any part of the cultural heritage. All it matters to us is that we want our culture to continue to move as economy is moving, so we also continue to move it. Because in many ways, we can also develop our economy through our cultural heritage. So it's a dream come to fulfillment, and we thank God. We thank the people of Winnipeg, and we thank the good people of Canada.